Welcome back to another episode of the Player Career Mode here on the Chesnoy Play Channel. We are very nearly level 42, so we might get as far as having some extra uh, skill points to apply to our guy today. We're currently 87 rated, one of the top goal scorers in the Premier League thus far. As you can see, they're fifth on the top goal scorer charts with five and nine. Rashford is smashing them in so far. Ryan Cherky is also doing the same at Leeds, actually. And we're having an, an indifferent time so far in the Premier League. We're ninth at the moment. Yeah, we could certainly do with my teammates starting to do something. Man United and Wolves lead the way. We're only three points off fifth, so we're really not that far away from the business end of, this, of the table. We just need to put together a bit of a run. But starting with Liverpool today is going to be tough. We then follow that up with a cup game against Leeds, who of course are the side that we're doing the main channel manager save with. And then we're away against Brentford, which is a winnable game as well. So I'd love four points in the Prem and a cup progression today. But whether we get four points in the Prem and a cup progression today, I can't really guarantee at the minute. We've done a lot of drawing so far, as you can see, more so than anything else thus far this season. Today we're saying thank you to Glenn to Reese and to Ralphie for their continued support on stream and for your guys' continued support in the comments section as well. Do keep those comments coming. You could be up there in tomorrow's episode, of course. Do drop the video a like as well. I'd appreciate it. It helps the content out. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you won't miss out on any further football. Uh, well, we have a tired 11 starting here, but good to see Lenormand and Fafana back in the 11. Good to see Marino in the 11 as well. Van Nessen starting a right back. Smith, we're strong. That's that's our strongest 11. So let's do a thing, shall we? A goal from outside the box, an 8.5 and a possession of 55 to 60%. All of which quite difficult to come by against Liverpool. Yeah, we're at home, but it is Liverpool and they were one of the sides that we might have moved to, of course. Their starting lineup here is Unai Simon, Rico Lewis, Schlotterbeck, Skriniar, and James Norris at left back. Okay. Locatelli, Emmett, and Bellingham. That's quite the midfield. Uh, Cody Hakpo at centre forward. Etchikel Zabayos on the left with Milly on sorry, on the right, with Milly on the left. On the bench, Lorente, Zalewski, Amari. Uh, 85-rated Evan Nielsen, Shaparenko, Esteve, and an 88-rated Allison on the bench, as Uno Simon is preferred. Intriguing. Norris, the only weak link then. Liverpool need a left-back. We need some goals and some points, please. It's cool that Millie's hair actually matches the Liverpool kit. When building his character, requested purple hair, and they play in a purple third kit here at Liverpool, so he's ended up quite nicely in his career. His Hakpo deflected Vicario saves. Early chance for Liverpool. I want to drop just to get a touch of the ball at the minute. Emma into Bellingham. And Bellingham to Hakpo. It's a lovely turn. Millwood, well blocked by Fafana. We've had minimal possession so far. I don't think I've touched the ball yet. So it's a bit harsh for me to be in a 5.7 when literally I've done nothing. Oh well, a 5.7 is what I'm on. Smith Rowe got absolutely munched there, so we'll take the advantage. A familiar face apparently, Shiloh at left back, so he must have been a Liverpool player at some point in this save. That's intriguing. Vanderson into me. Quickly round the corner to Doku. Jeremy's away. I'm trying to get forward here. I'll call for it. He'll give it to me. And you know, Simon makes the save. Tried to drill it at that near post. It was worth a go. We've got plenty of white shirts in support here, Vanderson. Oh, I've just misplaced it as I was trying to find the man on the edge of the box. Put him under pressure, though! That could have been just as calamitous as the Rangers' goal yesterday. Unfortunately for us on this occasion, it wasn't. Zabias on the wing for Liverpool. Cuts inside the defender. Hakpo back to him. Support from Rico Lewis on the overlap. Around the outside. Shillo's with him. Back to Zabias again. Good footwork, but... Emil Smith Rowe steps in. I didn't really want it yet, mate. But I'll try and get into some space here and hopefully some support will arrive. I'm just running down the wing at the moment. Little drag back. Support is available inside. Rico Lewis in the way. 
And then Shilo runs it off the pitch. Well, it's going to be me coming off soon then at this rate. Gore goes off and Jordinho comes on. But this has been the deadest game between two incredible sides that I think I've ever seen in this entire save. Barely any chances on goal whatsoever. One shot for us, three for them. Neither goalkeeper I can recall actually having to make a save. And I'm on a 6.1 and probably going to get substituted. I said I wanted four points from the two Premier League games, to be fair. So if we can get a point from this one and beat Brentford, I suppose I have to be happy with it. It is what I asked for. I just anticipated it, be, it being perhaps a little bit more entertaining than it has been. I am now going off, and that is me done. Villiers on in my place. I lasted 79 minutes. He's making a good run there. The man through the middle, if Villiers can find him. If he didn't, Jordinho might. This could open up for Spurs here. Jordinho's going on a hell of a run. If anybody understood how to pass a football, we could have scored a winning goal there. Oh, my God. It is frustrating at times, isn't it? Locatelli coming forward for Liverpool now. Is there a late goal in this? Neither side really deserve the win. Elwood in the box here. And support from Norris. It'll be 1-0 Liverpool or it'll be 0-0 nil -nil now. Two minutes added on. Millie. Bellingham. Johnson. Wide. Keeper made me a little bit nervy there as he just kind of... Hotch stepped sideways towards it. Smith throw off for Tammy here. It's going to be a nil-nil draw, Tottenham versus Liverpool. If we can beat Leeds and beat Brentford, then fine, I'm happy. But the team still, yes, they were tired, but they're only like 15% stamina down, not starting at half, half fatigue. It's a nil-nil draw. Tottenham fans holding up a banner of Steven Gerrard. Good, lovely, well-made game. We'll head to the next one against Leeds then and hopefully get a better result. Dropped to the bench, unsurprisingly so. I think everybody that was in that starting lineup should probably be on the bench moving forward. Leeds away in the cup though. We can get ourselves back in the starting lineup. Doop doop doo. Thank you very much. And I'm pretty sure we will be going up a level here and having some more skill points to be able to add on to my guy by the end of the episode so Brahim Diaz gets the start Doyle is back in the lineup Bradley at right back other than that we are as we were let's go and win this one then instead but it will, it will look weird with me wearing a Leeds shirt but at least I'm wearing the dark colored one rather than the white one and wearing exactly what Leeds are going to play with come on then let's head to Ellen Road three shots on target score a goal 8.5 We'll go for the shots on target and hopefully the goal will come as a result of. Nice to see Ellen Road from this angle as well, rather than the uh, one that we usually look at it from in the manager career mode over on the Chesno Gaming channel. Show you Leeds' starting lineup. We, this is perhaps the sort of lineup we can aspire to get to. In fact, we've already got a higher rated goalkeeper in Melier in the championship than. Uh, Mieki or Mietzki, Radoslav Mietzki, Malo Gusto at right back, David Carmo, Thomas Araujo, and Ian Martson, Jalanolu and Bubakar Kamara holding, Ruter out on the right, Rodri on the left, Cherky at camera 86, and Matteo Rotegi at 83 at striker. Sonny Perkins is up to 78, that bodes well for his growth in the managed mode. Uh, Sonny, sorry, Sam Greenwood up to uh, 80 as well, bodes well for him. Avila. No idea who Jakub Bianchi is as a region. Anthony Alanga, Ravil Tegier and Andre Lunin, who should probably be starting in goal, to be honest, but never mind. It is what it is, and what it is at the moment is nil-nil. Ruter. Oh, it's going to reach for Tegi. It's deflected wide off the toe of Fafana and out for a corner. Leeds on the attack, early doors. Cherky will deliver the ball. And it's headed on target. It's just going to be slapped away by Fafana. That will do for me. I don't mind that. Gusto brings it down and Leeds will look to build again. But they are on the attack here, the home side. Trying to find themselves an early goal. Nothing doing against Liverpool. But Leeds have done more in this game so far than really either side did, either side did in the first game. This one, of course, being a Carabao Cup game, as you can see, top left. So there is definitely the chance of silverware for us at Tottenham this season. If, if... We perform to the 
capability of the team. This team is capable. Just need to actually pull it out of the bag. Bradley. Bradley's going to go again. Go on, Bradley, lad. He's going to find him. He's going to keep it in. He's going to cut it back. And here's Brahim Diaz. Through that gap. Oh, Dangor with a shot. Mietzky with a save. And Rute down the line. Season 7. I'm surprised that Rute is only 81 rated. He's 77 or 78 rated in our managerial save already in season one so he's not grown very well in this save whatsoever although I don't know what his I don't know what his default potential is to be fair 81 must be it we certainly expect him to grow significantly higher in our lead save of course dynamic potential is only for the team that you're managing so obviously not being man not managing anyone in this save means that everyone will only hit their default potential and nobody has the opportunity to grow any higher we hopefully will continue to grow and might even make ourselves 88 rated today if we can add the right attribute points on and improve our stats in the correct areas. Gore to Connor Bradley on the overlap here from right back. I'll call for the cross. It will arrive, but it's under hit as ever. I don't know why I call for crosses, to be honest, because they're all they always get hit to the defender stood in front of you. I need to just stop doing it. Janalolu into Cherky and Rodri. Rotegi, lovely ball. Ian Martson forward for Leeds United here. Connor Bradley in the way, but it will fall for Rodri, who keeps under control well. Kamara, Giannanoglu, don't let him shoot from range. The boy has a strike on him. Cherky and Giannanoglu again. A little bit of footwork, a little bit of trickery. Just able to keep the ball away, and then Kamara gives it straight to us, and Basuma gives it straight back to them. Never mind, we have now got the ball back. That's a lovely ball over the top. And he's in here, Brahim Diaz. I'm trying to keep up. He's played me in. The move is decent. Can we finish? Yes, we can. Tottenham 1, Leeds United 0. I'm still the only man to score a goal for this side in recent memory. But at least we're winning this game of football. Thank the Lord for that. I didn't think for a minute I was going to get the shot away as that final touch took me a bit too central. I thought, oh, it's going to get blocked now, isn't it? It didn't. Thank the Lord. Inside the box. Are we going to go through in the Carabao Cup? I hope so. Gore. Nice little reverse ball. That guy's touch was so slow there. The turn was so laboured. I don't think I can put any more agility on me with the attribute boosts. This is where ne next year's my player, FC25 my player, is actually going to be better because we're going to use the uh, the creator player function to create a guy rather than... Why are you back healing that, you moron? Rather than the way that the growth method is in this save, generically with a my player save, so we can continue to grow as high as we want in every single area. We've gotten a, a good stop there from the goalkeeper. That will be in FC25, of course. The save that will replace this player career mode is a journeyman managerial save. I'll try and get this down and then get the shot away. And it hit my hand, unfortunately. And that will be a free kick for Leeds. Kamara. Through the middle for Leeds. And Rotegi into the box. And around the defender. Oh, and nearly squeezed at home. Keeper makes the save at the near post. They're going to take the corner short. Cherky. And then Rodri into the box now. David Carmo is never going to score like that. Get it down the line, Connor. Come on, lad. Oh, mate. Friggin' pass it, pal. Ruter with a double save from the keeper. Ruter and then Rutegi. Why is he not played it down the line? There's two of us there for a counter attack. Corner leads then. Anthony Alanga on for Ruter out on the wing. And saved as Alanga gets involved in the play immediately. Bissouma. Oh, he's dinked that forward to me. Try and nod that out to a teammate. Brahim Diaz is there. Bissouma plays me through. There's a Leeds man on the floor. I don't care. I want to score another goal. Why have you travelled it, you moron? Mate. Just bury it. What are you trying to be fancy for? Just score the goal. Oh, if we don't win this now... That's the reason Araujo injured for Leeds. They don't 
get the chance to ber well they will berate the referee but not as much as they should do that's much better agility and then zero acceleration or at least comparatively comparatively to malo gusto anyway oh what a turn and then absolutely dead movement bisuma driving down the line eve bisuma's on a run and that was another cross that doesn't reach you because it hits the or reaches the man stood in front of you instead and then jordinho loses out on it i've won it back I've lost it again. We can't score a second goal. Free kick for Leeds United in a very good position. Keeper came for it, got nowhere near it. Thankfully, it was a defender underneath it. Here's Ian Martin now, the left back to Rotegi, trying to get bodies in the way. One body's in the way, the most important body that's in the way. It's Vicario. Bissouma off and Mikel Marino on now. And we will take possession forward and hopefully see this through from here. We look like we should go through to the next round of the Carabao Cup now. In the 85th and now 86th minute, I'm on an 8.9. We're still 1-0 up, and we've got possession, and hopefully we'll hold on to it. We don't look likely of winning the Premier League this season, but there might be a domestic cup in it for us in this first year, or maybe only year. We'll wait and see here at Tottenham. Unfortunately, the scoreboard disappeared now. It's one well by Shillo. Jordinho, goal to me. Brahim Diaz wants it. We're into the 90-plus minutes now. I'm in. I'll look for the pass. And goal. Draws the save out of Mietzky, and then he recovers well. But that'll be game. 93rd minute. Thank the Lord for that. I got a 9.1. Look at me go. No, a 9.0. What's the betting it drops to an 8.9 before the final whistle goes? How many minutes are you adding on here, ref? We're in the 95th. Don't let them equalise now, for Christ's sake. Jalanoli brings it down. Tackle. Okay, good. 1-0 win. 43rd minute goal from me. Bosh. Next round of the Carabao Cup. Tottenham win a game for the first time in seven. I get a 9.0. And, unsurprisingly, man of the match. Oof. Brentford just won 4-0, so they'll be in high spirits after that, although it was only against Portsmouth, so it's an expected result. Luton, ourselves, Palace, Brentford, Arsenal, Liverpool, Watford and Manchester United through to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. So the next round of that will be drawn very soon. Winning stage of the tournament. I'll take the credit. I scored the goal. Should have had another one, but less said about that, the better. I wonder what... I wonder what recommendations we've got at the minute. Monaco, Brentford, and now Liverpool again. Okay. I'll lower that just to make sure we can get an offer to begin with. We lowered this one from Spurs, didn't we, to make sure we can get an offer to begin with. And Liverpool, probably the only other side other than Inter or staying at Tottenham at the moment that we'd put on a vote. Now then, Brentford away. A win here could shoot us up the table, so let's win here. Oh, I've got four skill points. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's make me better. Passing-wise, I can only do crossing and curve at the moment. Crossing and curve are the only ones I can get. I could do some... To be fair, I could do with some more curve. I think the fact that some of my finesse efforts don't go in as well, or don't go in because my curve's too low so let's put let's add some extra curve as well because that will genuinely help my that will genuinely help my shooting so we've we've given ourselves extra long shots and shot power and we've given ourselves extra curve as well am i 88 rated now i am indeed up to 88 rated good let's go and show brentford exactly how good an 88 rated me is all right, four, po four passes in the opponent's half. The straightforward one. We're going to try and get ourselves the win as well, of course. An 8.5 needed of me. Such a weird structure, this, isn't it? The GTEC Community Stadium. Are Brentford going to have any standout players here? Paco Pacheco. Dedic, who was a potential option for us in the lead save. Christophe Reyes still here. Daniel Vivian at 84. Inuri at 82. Jan Elt still here. Ruben Neves at 86 and Thiago Almada at 87. They're two very good players for them. Kevin Sharda on the right. Moise Keane at 85 and Christian Pulisic on the left. They have Kuto with his pink hair. Lissandro Martinez at 87. So what he's doing on the bench, I don't know. 
Keen Lewis Potter, Nathan Young Coombs, Delic, Marquinhos, and Johan Wissestel. So quite a few original Brentford players still in or around the first team here, which is quite refreshing. Although they're not anywhere near as good as the players that they've bought in. Ruben Neves is going to have a sensational delivery. And Smithrow clears the ball. Jan Elts to Neves. Oh, it's Scherder and Vivian. And the centre-back gives Brentford a 1-0 lead in this London derby of sorts. It's the red and white side that take the lead against Tottenham. And we never like that. Run to me. Run, Jeremy. Good lad. I'm in a good position. Still in a good position. Still in a good position. He hasn't got the ball. Oh, I have, though. I see you there on the edge of the box. Have a crack, Dan. Oh, get it on target, Dan. Still 1-0 Brentford. Try and work it out to the right-hand side, maybe. Doku is always a good recipient of the ball. You're offside there, Vanderson. You're back onside now, though, I think. I hope, I pray you are good. Doku's there. I'm here. Here's Doku. Uh, all right, sweet. Oh, we've won it back. Bissouma, Marino. Oh, Christ, where, where the hell do I go there? Somehow we're able to find Dan Gore. Can I get it off Christopher Ayer? I can't. Oh, Danny Pacheco, Paco Pacheco, whatever your fucking name is. 1-0 Brentford at half time. I wanted four points today from the Premier League games. At the minute, it looks like just the one. Tottenham Hotspur are not going to be the team, it seems, to help us try and win the Premier League in our career. There is definitely the opportunity for a domestic cup, though, so... We won't write off this season at this early stage. There's absolutely going to be the opportunity for an FA Cup uh, victory. And we're obviously already in the quarterfinals now of the Carabao Cup. I'm getting away from the defender here. I've got support in the middle. I'll just lift it in and find the one defender at the back post. Marina nods that down. Bissouma. Gore. I probably should have called for that from Bissouma. Gore. I'll call for this here. He went for goal. Oh, I was in a great position, but I've done the similar when teammates have been in great positions before, so I, I can't really be too critical because I have definitely shot when a pass is the better option previously. We'll give that back to Doku, who come to me again through that gap. Hopefully, will be the teammate who I can't find because I've given it away again. Ah! Jordinho, Shillo to me. I've escaped the attempt, attempted tackle. Bisuma, Marino. Oh, what a goal that would have been as a team move. But Paco Pacheco makes a brilliant save. Jordinho does not equalise for Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, and I can't get there for the header either. It was a good corner. A rare good corner in terms of the chances of me actually getting on the end of it compared to the defender. It's just that it was too close to the goalkeeper this time. So we still didn't get the shot on goal. Mikel Marino into me nicely. Jordinho's there. I'm going to go again. Doku through to me. Hold the ball up well. Doku again. I'm going to drop here. I'm still in a good spot. Vanderson. Marino. Please. No. We're going to lose to Brentford. We're going to lose to Brentford. Doku's got himself back on side. Look to slot him through. Use that pace, Jeremy. Lovely ball control. Jordinho, Marino, we are not going to lose to Brentford. It's not the result we wanted, but it's certainly, given the circumstances, a result we'll take. Mikel Marino with a 91st minute equaliser. We will not lose today, thank you. I think the hope for the Premier League now is just to challenge for the top four with Tottenham, because I think the title rather evidently is probably going to be beyond us, but there's... There's definitely the chance to do a cup double and, well, who knows what's going to happen in the Champions League. And we'll challenge for the top four with Spurs. We're not going to win the league this year. I'm I think that's pretty obvious at this stage. But there's still some positive and enjoyable moments to come along the way. Two points today. Would have liked four. But cup progression at least. It is what it is. Let's see what the league table looks like. Well, I'm beaten in, I'm beaten in five now. Only the one win in those eight games, but unbeaten in five is okay, I guess. Would obviously have liked more. Still staying in the starting lineup moving forward, though, and up next is the Champions League game second time around against Rangers, which 
given the league table, we would very much like to win. We've got one of every result so far in the Champions League. I am now 88 rated. So fingers crossed our growth continues yet further still. There's going to be the opportunity to keep growing from 88 into the 90s by the end of the save. Still ninth in the table. A point behind Newcastle in seventh. Four points behind Liverpool now. And the top four are six points away. But you anticipate Palace, Wolves and Fulham falling off before the end of the season. Wolves still the only other side outside of Manchester United to be unbeaten so far this season. We've scored eight. We've conceded eight. And I've scored bloody seven of them. Or at least six. At least six. Join me tomorrow for the Champions League against Rangers, which is a very important game. Chelsea at home and Crystal Palace away. Every game at the moment is a giant one, given the circumstances of our season thus far. And as we push on into the month of November, hopefully the results will improve. We'll start turning draws into wins and defeats into at least a draw. We'll try. We want to take something from everything moving forward. Five games unbeaten. Let's take that unbeaten run into double digits. Join me tomorrow for more. I'll see you then.